G'day, mate. It's good to see you at Dr. Wonder's workshop. We have something special. It's called the Golden Rule. Oh, yes. Knowing about the Golden Rule is important. If we forget about that, well, our relationships will get all messed up. Be on the lookout for these signs. Fear. Fear. Revenge. Revenge. Chocolate. Chocolate. Here you go. There's a special place I know where I always love to go. Come with me, I'll take you there. Dr. Wonder's workshop. Dr. Wonder and his crew have a big surprise for you. They can talk with just their hands. Dr. Wonder's workshop. Come and see. This amazing place for you and me. You see things you want to grab in this great inventor's land. You may never want to leave. Hi there! I'm glad you could join us today. I've been reading my email. I get a lot of it. One man sent me an email. He bought one of my inventions. Then he carried it home and put it together. It didn't work. Why? Because he didn't read the directions right. He became frustrated and angry. He decided to write and send an email with some really mean, awful, not nice, and very insulting things in it. I have to really think how to respond. I have to be careful and cautious. It would be easy if someone were to insult me out of anger for me to give them what they gave me and put them down, to get even with them or get revenge. Easy, true? We call it fair. Getting even is fair. But you know what Jesus said? He taught if people are mean to you and pick on you, it is best to hold your tongue, to be nice to them, not mean to them. Nice, show them kindness, and show them love. When we are nice to them, we feel good. Others will see it. You set an example for them. It doesn't matter what mean people do. Be nice, and good things will happen to you. See the board there? It says, be fair about it. You know the word integrity? The definition of integrity is honesty, fair, honest, mutual respect, and respect given to all. That's what it means. We learned that a few days ago. It was a hard lesson. As I look back, I remember. Hey, Miguel. Hey, Paula. What have you got there? Cocoa mix. I can't make it through the afternoon without my chocolate pick-me-up. Helps me work. Ah. Well, the microwave is all yours. Oh, before you go back to work, can I get your help with a project? Sure. Now? Come on, it's in my lab. <laughs> <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Oh, perfect. Mm. Voila. This is the new formula I've been working on. And I need someone to test it for me. You willing? What does it do? It's perfectly safe, but it has to be a secret. If I tell you any more, it will ruin the test. Sure, okay, as long as it's safe. Great. <laughs> hmm. Ready? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah! Awful. And it burns! Good, good. Water! It works. It works. Water! What is that stuff? Oh, 
It's supposed to protect vegetable gardens. You just spray it on the vegetables to protect them. If the rabbits and the other animals come in and eat the veggies, it will burn their mouths. Uh, I wouldn't eat vegetables with that stuff on it either. I can still taste it. It is awful. Hmm. Maybe I made it too strong. Hmm. And it still burns. It feels like my mouth is on fire. Well, it won't hurt you. And it should stop burning so badly after a few minutes. I think. You think? You're not sure? Well, it's a work in progress. You're my first human test. If you test it again, don't test it on me. Find someone else. Hi. A long time ago, Jesus told a story about treating other people the same way you would want them to treat you. It is still an important rule to follow. We call it the golden rule. It's the best way to be sure you are always being fair with other people. See this? That is my golden ruler. You know what I do with it? I use it when something happens to make sure things are fair. Watch. Hey, it's my turn. You've been playing for over an hour. It's my turn. Never, never. <laughs> oh. Not fair. What do you think? Is it fair? No, it's not. Let's try again. Watch. Got it. Oh, it's the last one. You want to split it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. Fair. See? They followed the golden rule. They treated others fairly. Always treat other people the way you want to be treated. Then you will be both wise and fair. If people are angry and mean and say bad stuff to me, if I say mean things back to them, then both of us can get into trouble. Someone will tell the teacher and we will get into trouble. But if I don't say mean things back, then I'll be fine. Getting even isn't any good. Because if I get even with someone, then they feel depressed, and I'm happy about it. But you need to be fair. I think that's best. If I'm mean, then they feel, whoa. It's best to be fair, then everyone's happy together. looking for? My coca. I left a packet of coca in here and now I can't find it. I don't know where it went. Oh, hey, now, Lisa had some cocoa. Maybe she took it by mistake. I'm not sure. <gasps> oh, that was my last packet. And I Afternoon. Oh, okay. Now it's gone. Ooh, okay. Oh. 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 Hey. Hey, Paul. Look. 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 There's a chocolate cake in oh, here. Chocolate. Oh boy. Oh. Yummy. 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 Mm. Oh. <gasps>
It has Lisa's name on it. We should ask first. Rats. Oh, why do we have to ask? Lisa drank all of my hot chocolate down to the last drop without asking me. Mm, I, but Lisa didn't plan it. She didn't mean to drink your chocolate. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I know, but she drank my chocolate. Now it's gone. And I'm falling asleep. I must have chocolate. See, there it is. And I'm eating a piece. That's fair, right? Well, right? Well, I guess it's fair. Still, something's not right. Mm. Mm. <sighs> oh. Need a plate. I just came in here for some water. Except there's none in the picture. It's empty. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, see? Empty. <laughs> I saw Miguel drink it all. All of it. Huh. We have ice, though, in the freezer. Put some ice cubes in a cup and then melt them in the microwave. Huh. Then drink it up. Yeah, <laughs> pretty smart. <laughs> oh, that, uh, uh, well, <laughs> gonna get some water. Yeah. Ooh, big yummy pitcher of water. Oh, oh, hey. Oh. Who ate uh -oh. my cake? Um, I had my name on it. Oh. Well, um, uh, uh. <laughs> just a minute. Um, uh, oh, 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 um, now, uh, uh, oh, uh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm uh. out of this room. Uh, uh. Oh, uh, Paula ate your cake because she said it was only fair uh. because you drank her hot chocolate. Uh. That's fair, I think. Ah, uh, fair. I didn't know it was Paula's chocolate. I saw it, mixed it, and drank it. I didn't know it was hers, but my name was on this. I was bringing this to a party. Now it's got a hole in it. For a party? Oh, yes. She and I didn't know it was for a party. Oh. Fair. I will ask Paula to buy me a new sheet cake to bring to my party. She must. I'm going to go talk with Paula. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, um, if it's ruined and no good, um, could I have a piece? Sure, I'm giving it to you. It's oh, all yours. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah! Hmm. If I do good and keep on going and others start picking on me and talking about me and laughing and start hurling insults at me, should I get revenge and get even with them? Would that be fair? Where does the Bible talk about this? In 1 Peter chapters 3, verses 8 through 16, the topic is suffer for doing good. In summary, it means it's important to think alike, have sympathy, love, help, encourage, comfort, and have pity for others, to be humble. This is advice for you, too. If we decide to not do one of these so you ignore one and look for someone who's picking on you and you get revenge or try to get even, you think it's fair to get back at them or say something nasty, don't do that. 
Ignore their comments. It's important when people pick on you and say stuff, you just be quiet and go on being positive. That's your job. Just keep on going. If you give out blessings, then you'll get the same. Just like if you love life and you're energetic and do good and not look for times to get even, get back, or hurt others. No, resist that and do good. Pursue peace. Why? Because God in heaven is looking down on you and will be proud of you because you do what God asks you to do. I warn you that if you do evil things, God will not look down on you and be proud of you. It's important you pursue doing good even if you suffer for doing good. Even if other people pick on you, throw insults at you. Just put them aside and keep being positive through life. It's important to worship God and keep your eye on the Lord who works in your life. If someone asks you, are you a believer, a Christian? Wow, you are doing positive things in your life. Then you can be ready to explain gently to them with clarity. Or if they make negative comments like, oh, you're holier than thou, goody two-shoes, and they continue negative comments, then all eyes are on them. As your life is positive, you belong to Christ. Keep on doing good. You may suffer while doing good, but you will please him. Don't look for opportunities to get even. No, just do good. Hi there. Do you want to know Jesus and be saved? It doesn't have to be in a church. It can be anywhere, anytime. To be saved, all you have to do is believe and pray and ask Jesus to come into your heart. That's it. Then you will have a relationship with Him. When you pray, ask Him to forgive you for your sins. What is sin? Sin is what separates us from God. It's what makes all the wrong things happen in life, whether small or big. When we accept Jesus, our sins are forgiven. And every day of our lives, we walk in His grace and live like Jesus. Accepting Jesus into your heart is easy. And ironically, it's free. Then we follow Him, read the Bible, and pray every day. Just like talking to a friend, living with His grace and with His love inside of us. Jesus is God's only Son. Did you know He died and came back to life again? He died and arose again and lives in heaven. No one else on earth did that. Only Jesus did. And he's still alive today. That gives us hope and purpose in life to understand why we're here. Living with Jesus is really a blessing. It's so much better. With him, we can see the world with a different understanding. Living with purpose with Jesus is wonderful. Just try it. Trust me. If someone is mean to me, what do I do? If someone is mean to me, if I get even with them, then I'll be in trouble too. I don't want that. If I get even with someone else, I don't think it's a good idea. Because if I get revenge, you know what they're going to do. They'll tell someone. Then I'll be in trouble. We'll both be in trouble. Boils inside. I want revenge.
tongue is still feeling hot. Yes, my tongue is still hot. See it? Oh, uh, maybe you should try eating something. Or uh, drinking coffee. Uh, it might help reduce hmm. the hotness. Good idea. I think I left my coffee cup in Paula's lab. Paula's corner. Yeah, yeah. I think it's funny that we had a big fight over cake. Oh, no, no, no. It's not just cake. Chocolate cake. Mm. <laughs> Still, it's just a cake. All of that was silly. I, I shouldn't have... Tried to force you to buy me another one. If someone tried to do that to me, well, I'd be upset. Oh, and I shouldn't have taken a piece of the cake when I knew it was yours. If I wrote Paula on a cake and someone else took it, I'd explode. I'd blow a gasket. Mm, yes, you were mad. I drank your cocoa. You were really oh. mad. <laughs> that doesn't matter. Friends don't treat each other like that. I'm sorry. True. I really am sorry. Me too. Aww. <laughs> Thanks for the cake. Sure. <sighs> She bumped my arm. Hmm. Ah! Ooh. <laughs> uh -oh. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. Pretty good. Oh! Yikes. What's going on here? Huh? Oh. <sighs> uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Edwin, but well, his cake accidentally got dumped on Miguel all over him. So what did Miguel do? He picked it up and threw it back. It's getting even, getting back. But it's just not right. It's not good. Jesus said, do good to other people. To others, do good, just the way you want them to treat you. Jesus didn't say, if they do something wrong to you, do the same thing back and get even. You must. Jesus said, treat them right, the way you want them to treat you. Treat them right no matter what they do to you. That's integrity. I have to do what's right. Be honest and nice. Thank you for joining us today on Dr. Wonder's Workshop. I hope you'll join us again soon. Bye. <laughs>